everybody. Welcome to Allison Kukasidi seated warm up and repertory class. I'm very excited to take you through a warm up today. All you'll need is a chair and some weights. I'm going to use some actual weights today, although I normally use some canned goods and some wine bottles, which you're welcome to use if you don't have access to any weights. But if you do have any weights, I would recommend going for some one to three pound weights, maybe four if you're super strong and have that by your chair and have your chair ready and I'm going to be teaching you a little excerpt of murmuration, the final section of murmuration. So we'll warm up our bodies and our backs so that we're ready for that. You'll be able to do all of this choreography seated. So um, I'm excited to take you through this. Let's get started. Have a seat tall in your chair and then let's start with some shoulder rolls up back and down, find a nice space between your shoulders and your ears. Continue like that. And four, four more like this. We're just gonna go in this direction. And this is really nice to reinforce good posture and warm up those shoulders. And one more. And then this time, just type your shoulders up to your ears, like you're deleting the space between your shoulders and your ears. And then go ahead and draw your shoulders away from your ears. Take that again, pull the shoulders up towards your ears, and then draw them down, down, down. A couple more like that. Reach up, 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 and draw back down. You can flip your palms to face forward so you have a nice open chest on this one. And then do one more like that. Open the palms forward. And then with a lot of space between your shoulders and your ears, let's circle the arms up towards the ceiling. Deep breath in and exhale, draw the arms down. Again, like that, deep breath in, circle the arms up. And deep exhale, circle the arms down. Two more times, deep breath in. And deep breath out. And last time, deep breath in. And deep breath out. Good. And then hold on to the seat of your chair if you can. If not, that's okay. You can just have your hands to your thighs or your hips. And then just bring your right knee up and place your foot back down. And bring your left knee up and place your foot back down. So hinging at the hip joint without affecting the rest of your body. Engage your core gently so that you can keep, keep stable against the movement of the legs. And one more each side. And left. And then go ahead and pick your right knee up and extend your leg and bend your knee and place your foot back down. Pick your left knee up, extend your leg, big stretch, bend your knee, place back down. Keep going like that. If your knee doesn't stretch all the way, that's fine. And also you can keep your leg a little bit lower. The height doesn't matter too much. Let's continue for four more. Right, left, right, left. And three more. And two more here. Reach. And one more. And then bring your right knee up, extend the leg, bring your heel all the way down to your floor, and then lift your right back up again. And down. And up again. The height doesn't matter too much here. Let's go for four more. And three more. But core really stable. You can lean back a little bit if you need, and round your back a little bit. And bend your knee, pull that leg back in, bring the left knee up and extend, and lower and lift eight times. Seven. Again, strong core. Pull up the muscles above your knee, your quads. Four more here. Three more. And two more. And one more. Nicely done. And then bend your knee. Sit up really tall. So interlace the fingers and place it behind your head. Elbows a little bit forward. And just gently round your upper back. And then come up right. And then lift your chest up towards the ceiling. Easy. Again, like that. Nod your chin around your back. And lift your 
elbows and gentle high release. Continue like that. Warming up your spine. And see if you can start to build a little bit more range of motion. Maybe go deeper down to curve into the lower back as well. And then come center. And then sit really tall and just spiral rotate to your right, keeping the integrity of the relationship between your arms and your shoulders. So be careful not to lead with your elbows like so and feel like you're twisting more. Really keep your arms in place and just spiral from your back. And continue like this for four more. So it's your back that's moving. Everything else goes along with the ride. It's like a passenger in a car. And one more each side. And left. And then reach your arms down just to rest. Roll your shoulders open and send your fingertips out to the side, arms out to the side. Walk your feet open a little and shift your rib cage all the way over to your right. And then shift your rib cage all the way over to your left. Big stretch, little activation in your torso. And shift the other way. Keep going like this. See how much range you can get out of your body without lifting your hips, your sits bones, off of your chair. You want to have both your sits bones anchoring down here, your shoulders pulling away from your ears. And let's do two more. And one more. And then come back center, lower the arms. And sit up really tall. And this time, take your left hand and hold your outer right knee. And use that to encourage you to spiral a little deeper. You can turn your head and look over your right shoulder. And then go the other way. So this one is a little bit less controlled. A little bit more free. Don't force anything, but allow your hands to encourage your spiral to go a little bit deeper by pressing into the thigh. And then keep going, four more, and three more, and two more, and one more. Good, really, really nice. Take another shoulder roll. And let's interlace the hands and face your palms towards the ceiling and take a big shrug of your shoulders up to your ears, stretch the sides of your body. And then side bend over to your right with that energy. You can pull your shoulders away from your ears, come back center, and take another side bend over to the other side. Again, like that. Think of the side bend being a lift before, before the curvature happens. So you're gonna lift your torso, your right rib cage lifts, and it lifts so much that you continue to bend. Now one more each side. And center, and big stretch left. Should feel nice. And center, and circle your arms down. Okay, now let's grab our weights. Little weights. Hold them, your cans or your wine bottles or your actual weights. Hold them by your side, roll your shoulders up, back, and down, and then lift your arms to about shoulder height, and then lower back down. Again, like that. Lift, and lower, and lift, and lower, and lift. Good. Four more like this. Four, and three, and two more, and one more. Good. And then lift up and flip your palms to face up. Pull your elbows back so that they're all the way behind your torso like so. And then extend your arms forward. Again, like that. Pull back and forward. And use the motion of the elbows pulling back. Really open and expand your chest. You go here for eight more. And seven. And six. And five. And four. And three more, and two more, and one more. 
And then pull your elbows back just to torso, to your torso, and then open your arms out to the side. You're just going to extend the arms and pull them back in. And extending up and draw back in. Keep a nice tight grip on your waist. And reach. And reach. Continue here for four more. And three. And two more. One more. And then bring the arms back in. And then extend the arms forward. Little circles away from each other for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Reverse your circles for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And then lower. And then tap your shoulders with your weights. Bicep curl. Now your weights are quite light, so this should feel like a little rest. Now we go here for eight more. And seven. And six. And five. And four more. Three. And two more. One more. Now that you're a little bit rested, bend at your elbows 90 degrees. Face your weights towards each other. And lift your elbows and come back in. Again, lift and in. Just to shoulder height, leading with your elbows. Be careful that the shoulders don't hike up like so. You're pulling your shoulders away from your ears and the scapula draws down your back. Four more. And three. And two more. One more, hold. And let's rotate the forearms to face forward. And rotate and lower. Lift the elbows, rotate, unrotate, and lower. Rotate, and lower, and lift, rotate, and lower. Two more. Now we do one more. We're going to go halfway into it. Lift, rotate, and then straighten your arms all the way up to the ceiling. A little bit forward rather than straight up so you protect your back and keep from arching. And then bend. Extend. And then you want to keep your ribcage closed and having the weights a little bit forward across from your forehead will help with that. Let's continue for four more. And you can also do any of this without any weights, and you'll still get some benefit. And one more. And then close your elbows and open them out. And close and open. And you're not doing this by arching the back. Keeping the back stable, you're just opening the elbows out to the side. Now let's continue here for four more. <laughs> and two more. One more. And then bring your weights together. Bring them in front of your chest. And we combine some of the spirals we did before. So reach one arm out and twist towards your right. Come back center. Punch your other arm out as you twist and center. And reach. And as you reach out, really ground your arm bone into your shoulder socket. And out. Let's continue here for eight more. And seven. And six. And five. And four. And three. Two more. And one more. And keep holding your weights. Maybe bring them close together. If you have a wine bottle as a way, I would just use one and not two. So send your arms overhead. I'm just going to bend at your elbows 90 degrees to work the triceps. And three. Keep the back of your neck long. Now let's go for eight more. From the front, it looks like this. You want to keep your elbows tight together, facing forward. Rib cage closed. And three more. And two more. One more, stay down there and take little pulses for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and stretch your arms all the way. And you can let go of your waist. You have cams, don't drop them. And then stretch your right leg out, cross it over your other thigh, and just bend forward. You might get a pop like me. And just take a little hinge stretch. You can feel this in the glute, external rotators. Flex your right foot or whichever foot. That's in the figure four. Gently to protect your knee and gently encourage rotation without forcing anything. 
so you don't feel any pain in your knee in the stretch. And then come back upright, come across, stretch your other leg out, and then hinge forward. Again, make sure to flex this foot to protect your knee. Gently encourage rotation, but not so much that you feel any discomfort. Then on cross, and let's go into the rep portion of our class today. So like I said, today I'm gonna to be teaching a little excerpt of a dance called Murmuration, choreographed by Alison Cook Beattie to dance for Alison Cook Beattie in 2016. And the music is by Raspiki. And this is from the final section of the dance. So I'll play the music just to get us started. Now we'll go from there. So here's the section. <laughs> I'll stop it up there, but it'll keep going. And this dance, for those of you who've never seen this dance, is about birds. So we're going to embody um, the movement of the birds through, through the choreography. So go ahead and sit down tall. And we're going to start with our arms reaching out into a V. And think of your arms being an extension of your back as your nice bird wings. And from here, you're gonna have a little lift in the chest and a high focus. Bring your left arm over your head and cross your right arm in front of your body, right where your rib cage is, as if you're sheltering yourself uh, from bad weather. So we start here. We fold our arms, one on top, one on the other. And you're gonna send those arms out to your side as you lean them away. And then take your arms across your body and reach them towards the other side. Take that again. And you can just use me as your mirror today. So as you watch, just follow along and, and use the screen as if it's your mirror. So reach your arms up, open chest, and then take your one arm over your head, fold your other arm over, and then lean away and reach the arms across your body, look towards it. You can have a little side bend here. And then bring your arms in through the center and extend them to the other side as you lean away from it as if you're admiring your feathers. Then you're gonna take the opposite arm and do the same position. So let's take that again from the beginning. Arms reach to your feet, big, nice wings, chest is lifted, and then fold your left arm over or whichever side that's mirroring you, if it's your right above, that's okay. And then reach your arms across your body and lean away from it. And then bring your arms through center and reach away to the other side. And then take your arm over into the same position that we did earlier. And you're gonna take this top arm and pull the elbow in towards your torso as you extend the opposite arm up towards the ceiling and look down towards your hands. So you have nice long wings up here and then nice folded elbow here. Your body is in a side bend. And from here, I'm just gonna take your arms towards your shoulders as your focus goes down. And then as you extend your arms back into your V, you're gonna lift your chest just the way we started. So let's take that from the beginning. And this is pretty slow. There aren't counts because originally this section of the choreography is a canon. So we'll take it slow. You can follow me with the music and I won't set counts. So, start in your V with your chest up, and we bring one arm over the head and fold the other arm across, and then lean away and stretch your arms out to the side. Admire your feathers, and bring your arms across and look the other way. And then bring the opposite arm up and over, one arm in front of your body, and then bring the elbow down as you extend the other arm. And then take your hands to your shoulder, focus down, 
and then extend the arms into your V as you lift your chest. And that's going to happen a little bit quicker, even though I won't set counts. There's a musical cue right there. So you'll hear a little cuckoo. Then after the cuckoo, it'll, it'll be followed by another couple of cuckoos. So we will be waiting right here. And then once you hear the first cuckoo, you're going to take your hands to your shoulder in time for the second cuckoo to go here. And then we're going to go down up for the final cuckoo. Yeah. So let's listen to that with music once. And I'll mark it for you, and you can follow along with me, or you can just watch whatever feels better for you. Make sure the volume is loud enough. So for the second time, I'll show very clear, but I'll make the music very loud so you might not be able to hear me as much, but you can follow my movement. All right. sound that we're going to follow with that part and if you if you're having trouble hearing you can also follow with me and I'll show the timing clearly but let's move forward from there we have just a little bit more so after you've brought your wings up you're going to take your hands back to your shoulders and then reach them back out like you're flying and then from here you're going to bring one arm down and swing the other arm over your head as you side bend like you're waving over to some friends over there and then you're going to roll through the middle and then set your other arm and wave to your friends on the other side of the field or the sky or wherever your imaginary bird is hanging out. So we've just taken this position after our second flying cocoon. We've taken our hands to the shoulders and grown up and then take your hand and swing your opposite arm across and wave to your friends on one side and come through the middle and then wave to your friends on the other side. And then from here, you're just gonna take one final position here with the first arm that we started with above your head and the other arm across your torso. And then from here, you're gonna bring your arms back and you can look over your right shoulder as if you're looking behind yourself for your friends, for your bird friends, and you can flutter your wings just subtly from the back. And that's gonna be the end of the section that I'll teach today. So let's go first from the new part and then we'll do the whole thing without music and then we'll try it with music so we just did our two cuckoos down up hands come to the shoulders you're going to reach your fingertips back and fly and then arm circles and wave to one side and arm circles and you wave to the other side and then you're going to take your opposite arm over your head and wrap the other arm in front of your body and then take your hands behind you and wave. And I'll clarify the timing of when you're gonna move from here to here with the music. So let's take that from the beginning, just as a mark without music, and let's go through it with the timing of the music after that. So we start in our V, in our high-chested wide, high, uh, high wide V, and you're gonna take your first arm over, other arm across, one, and reach the arms. And reach the arms the other way, and then take your other sheltered position. Elbow comes in. And take your hands to your shoulders with the second cuckoo. And then third cuckoo. Then you're going to fly, hands to your shoulders, and reach back out. And then from here, circle one arm over and wave to one side. And then circle through the middle and wave to the other side. 
and then shelter yourself like you did the first time, and then bring your hands behind you. So that's it. Let's hear the last part of the music once so that you know the timing. <laughs> So there's a trickling down music, and then there's going to be a big finale to that trickling down part. So you'll be here, and we'll go, um, um, and I'll help with that. So let's mark with the music just to get the timing, and then we'll try it a couple times as if we were perform performing it. and do that again. I'll be very clear. I'll talk a little bit more the first time, second time I won't talk, and then we'll finish there. So again, this is the final section, the cuckoo section of murmuration, and you can see the whole dance right now on YouTube or Vimeo if you follow and subscribe to the Alice and Cuckoo dance uh, channels. <laughs> speak this time. So just enjoy the music and the choreography that you just learned. You can always go back and clarify some other movement. was murmuration last movement cuckoo thank you for joining me for today for our chair our seated warm-up and our chair repertory class hope to see you next week i'll be back live next week and take care have a great weekend make sure to check out allison cook Beattie's social media to find out all the other classes that we're offering and also to find out about our virtual gala and performance that's happening on october 3rd all right take care bye